Hey all, I'm Jenny Sauer. I am a mobile solution specialist here with the USDA APHIS PPQ and User Tools group, and this is an introduction to ArcGIS Field Maps. It's a video series with several topics that will take you through just introducing you to the application. It's a mobile data collection application which will be used by field data users using a mobile device. We'll discuss installing it if needed, signing in to the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal, sometimes known as the APHIS GIS Portal. We will discuss the disconnected workflow using the app in the field without being connected to Wi-Fi, downloading a map area, collecting data, the important part, right? We're also going to discuss while we're at it the markup layer, which is a new feature of this application, editing in the mobile app using your mobile device if needed, the daily data sync, and we'll wrap it up with a conclusion and a quiz. ArcGIS Field Maps is a mobile data collection application which is replacing five old applications. Introduced in October of 2020, Field Maps is replacing the Collector app, among others, listed here, and that app will be deactivated December of 2021. So it's important for us to learn how to use ArcGIS Field Maps. Built similar to Collector, Collector application users will find it very familiar. ArcGIS Field Maps can be used on any mobile device. Shown here is a PPQ iPad. Users open Field Maps by tapping the icon, sign in using the ArcGIS Enterprise sign in and e-authentication level 2, username and password. Map creators organize permissions by assigning members to groups. Listed here are groups I'm a member of, you'll see a different view, but this is how you'll locate your map for data collection. I'm going to start sounding like a broken record, but doesn't this look an awful lot like the collector application? In order to collect data, you hit that little blue plus sign at the lower right corner to open sometimes an initial question. In this case, it's what kind of trap you're using, and the data form has little star asterisks next to required fields, the ability to add photos if enabled, lists to choose from, and comments that are optional. Once it's all complete, you submit the point and sync your data back to the main map. 